I'll give you a little tour of where I'm staying. It's like a proper penthouse suite. You're gonna be so jealous when I show you. <laughs> little camper van. I haven't climbed a tree house since I was seven years old. Perfect. on your head and roll through the spine and it's lush it gets right into like the niggly bits in your shoulders and it helps release any tension I always find like the top bit of my back holds the most tension so I spend a bit more time doing in between my shoulder blades it's really nice once I've stretched and foam rolled, I like to do a meditation. A meditation, it really centers me and it clears all of your thoughts and it makes you feel amazing. And you know, years ago, I just used to meditate because I used to get really bad anxiety and I was often feeling guilt and worry and stressed. And I found this meditation, Stuart Wilde, a creating miracles in your life and I did it and it took you on a journey and into like a forest and stuff and it's just really amazing google Stuart Wilde and try his meditation so I was doing it just because it felt nice and because it took me out of my discomfort feelings all the time but I've been meditating now for five years but what I never ever ever knew that I was reprogramming my mind and so rather than thinking about all the things that stressed me out all the time and the worries and the chaos of everyday life, it was taking me to a place of my dreams and my aspirations. And I, over time, I believed that I could achieve all of these things and because I kept seeing it in my mind. So it really, really, really works miracles. And I swear this with all of my heart. But what I never knew is uh, I, I never knew about your higher self, which is the most blissful harmony, peace, joy, love, state of being. And I'm now addicted to feeling this. So I wouldn't go a day without meditation because it's such a lovely blissful feeling. And I try to keep this feeling throughout the rest of the day. So often I'll do guided meditations, but if I'm busier and I'm in a rush, I didn't bring my crystal here today, I forgot, but I just found a rock, <laughs> any rock will do, and I just think it's really nice. So what I'll do is just close my eyes, be centred, and just take nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose, or the mouth, whatever feels better for you, but just so long as you're trying to like clear the thoughts and focus on your breath, it goes a little bit something like this. It's so weird, like before, I can feel this feeling now already, like I can click with it straight away and I never used to because before I didn't get it because your thoughts are like coming in but as soon as I start to breathe in, you feel this wind of like energy and like you're, you're connected with the universe and it's just amazing. Sendi 
Bin men, rubbish vans, cars going past, loud noises. I walk out my front door, there's loads of cars, there's loads of people, it's chaos. Um, I run a business, so I'm always thinking about my never ending to do list and what am I having for tea and like, you know, all sorts of stuff. So coming out into the countryside for me is like heaven. I'm at the tour in Glastonbury, which is a sacred hill where thousands of people have come and walked to the top of to get balance in their life. Wish me luck, it's all about the balance. See you at the top, baby. It doesn't actually look like it's that steep from the camera, but it is a hill. <laughs> I'm not fibbing. Oh, a kissing gate. Where's my Prince Charming to give me a kiss? Palace Wells, where you can help yourself to free spring drinking water, and it tastes super duper. I'm at Chalice Well, which is a beautiful, beautiful little sanctuary garden. It's called the Healing Garden, and over there we just had the fountains with the masculine and calcium energy, and here we have the little fountains with. I am in, so we balance in my feminine energy. They've got like a little lake. Yeah. So I'm gonna take my shoes off and I'm gonna have a little paddle in the water. Crystal shop I've ever been in. Isn't lush? And then I just discovered these wings too. Look at these. I'm just at 
the Rainbow Cafe in Glastonbury. A friend recommended it to me. It's a vegan cafe. And I ordered a falafel salad, which looks absolutely delicious. I'm not sure if I'm going to eat the bread, but I might. And this is what my friend has, which looks even more delicious. So I guess I think my husband will be the same thing. So I'm back home in the city and I've just had a run through of all the brand new dance routines which are going to be heading to all of the turned up fitness classes and the on demand area and I just had a run through the, of them and they feel amazing, they feel so empowering, they make you feel super sexy and alive and I literally cannot wait to share them with you. I hope you all enjoy them and I'm sure you will. I'm having so much fun in here dancing them out by myself that when you have the girls with you it's just another level so yay home sweet home back in the city i just want to say one thing as well um you know it's so nice to get away and not all of us have the luxury to just jump on a plane and go on holiday but i really love to look at the map and find like a different city or a different town or a different location that's not too far away, it's not going to cost loads of money, but it, it's like, it feels like you go on holiday, like I only went away for the night and spent the day there, but already I was present, I was in the moment, I was taking in all the scenery, and I was like not thinking about the business, not thinking about my to-do list, and just having a really, really nice downtime. And I think everybody deserves to have that and you don't always have to go on holiday. Like, I'm sure wherever you are, an hour away from you is a coast or a forest or somewhere then like Glastonbury. And it works wonders for your mental health and your well-being and you deserve, you deserve it all. You deserve to feel amazing. Inside and outside of the class. Oh, I gotta go. My ball, my, my ball. My dog has got a ball stuck and she won't stop barking until I get it back. So, thank you for watching the vlog. Please like and subscribe and keep posted for what I'm up to next. Yes, love you guys. Jazz, you want your ball?